COVID-19, oh, I'm scared of COVID. You are shutting down most everything. COVID-19, now my kids are at home for the next, for the next three weeks. COVID-19, now I'm quarantined and I'm out of all my TP and weed. Come on, COVID-19, you bitch, come on. You're such a bitch, you have scared us. Now we're all going batshit crazy. <laughs> oh, let's do a show, shall we? One, two, three, Corona. Laughing with cancer, let's live a life, not just survive. If you're not laughing, life will pass you by. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Laughing with Cancer. I'm Elvis Rico, and uh, this is like take two. <laughs> I started doing the podcast, and I just started ranting. And then I had to stop and take some medicine, if you know what I mean, and think, you know what? I can't be yelling and being all angry. <laughs> this is crazy. Times are crazy, my friends. I don't know. Guess what? I started the beginning of the year. Last podcast, right? I think of January. Or, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, it was the hashtag be a decent person. I, I started. I have the website and the Instagram. And I think something told me 2020 is going to be crazy. I didn't think this freaking crazy, but yeah, crazy. It's insane. And you know what? It's like, I don't know, man. People are like pointing fingers and blaming this side and blaming that side. And it's like, guess what? Apparently this virus doesn't care what political party you're with. <laughs> it's going to take care of everybody. And, uh, the elderly are the ones mostly in danger of this disease. Uh, isn't our government filled with old bastards? <laughs> what? <laughs> you guys are the first ones to go. All right. You should have been on top of this before. <laughs> oh, anyways, you know, and you know what cracks me up is this. Some people are like, um, it like, like it doesn't, like it's nothing. It's not a, it's not a big deal, you know? Oh, blah, dee, oh, blah, da, life goes on, yeah, la, 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 life goes on. Nah, life's gonna be different. What, yesterday they were saying, you know, no more groups than, than 50? And then today, all of a sudden, it's 10, you know, and what can you do? Oh, and then, oh, this is uh, Rudy, uh, what was his name for? He plays for the Utah Jazz, Rudy Gobert, I think that was his name. Oh, my God. I think I have a little clip of him right here. Hold on. Let me see if I can, if I can do that. Hold on one second. I'll pick it up right now. The Utah Jazz basketball team will be quarantined here in Oklahoma City for the foreseeable future. That, according to ESPN. Before the game, Rudy Gobert spoke to the Utah media joking about possibly being sick and then did this, making a point to touch every microphone and recorder. Hours later, we got the news that he tests positive for the coronavirus. Uh, right. Of course you did. Good job there, buddy. <laughs> the Utah Jazz probably gave him a sock treatment. You know, when they, wha-bam, wha-bam, wha-bam. Sock treatment. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if some of you follow my Twitter on Elvis Rico. I don't do it on Laughing With Cancer and stuff like this. But it's a joke, okay? All right, so don't get, you know, let me tell you this joke. And, of course, I came up with it because it's funny. At least I think it's funny. I don't know. <laughs> but you know t 
times are getting tough. Bad times are hard. You know they're hard when you're at home and the wife is at work or wherever and you feeling a little frisky. You got to take care of some business if you know what I mean. And you look at the toilet paper and you think to yourself, <laughs> I don't think Walmart's been running out of socks anytime soon. <laughs> Ah, that cracks me up. I don't know if any of you get it, but I do. <laughs> and I know some of you guys, hashtag, you know it's true, guys. Come on, stop it. You know what I'm talking about. Forget it. All right? But, uh, yeah. And I, you know what? I'm not even going to start about the president. I mean, come on. Really? Really? I don't know. I don't want to start. I don't want to start because then I'll start ranting. We don't want to talk about that, right? With the, with the coronavirus, they're going to quarantine you. And then nine months from now, there's going to be a bunch of kids being born because everybody got quarantined. And what are they going to do? They're cutting the, like, some places are saying school is shut down for three weeks, right? They're even thinking maybe the rest of the year. What do you think these teenagers are going to do? You don't think they're all going to gather together, sneak off somewhere, and have a party? You don't think that's going to happen? Oh, they, it's going to happen. And you're not going to be able to take care of that. You know, you're, going to, you're going to break that up? Okay, you guys can only have 10 people at your party. All right? <laughs> and that's too, that, too. This is, how, this is how fast. You know, and some of you are still laughing about it. But yesterday, they said no more than 50 people. Today... Uh, 10. And today is what? The 16th. Today's Monday. And last Monday was when that, that, uh, Rudy with the Utah Jazz thought it was funny to touch everything. Cause, ha ha. I don't get corona. I might be sick. I haven't been feeling well. Uh, do you normally not feel well and stuff like that? No? So you're going to make a joke about it and then guess what? Boom. You have corona. Well, guess what? A lot of us cancer patients, those symptoms that are on there, we ride that roller coaster almost all the time. All right? When we have a good day, we're balls to the wall. I know I am. My mom bitches at me. She says, you don't know how to moderate. And I said, Mom, I feel great today. You know, I don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. So I'm going balls to the wall. She goes, you need to, like, relax and stuff. I said, why? What do you think I've been doing? Because I have been feeling well before. Anyways. So, yeah. What do you do if you have cancer or any of that stuff? You know, even before this virus, you might get a fever. You might have a cough. You get the chills and the sweats. You know. So, now what do you do? Do you say, well, that's just my life, my roller coaster life. You know, my cancer roller coaster that I've been dealing with for years. And then to come find out, it's corona. Too late, you're dead. <laughs> oh, I don't know. You know what? What can you do? What can you do but do what you should have been doing when all along? Wash your hands. Be clean. Have enough respect for yourself to just be a clean person and be a respectful person and a nice person. How hard is that? I went to Walmart and I'm watching some of these people just be rude as hell. And you know, it's like, hashtag be a decent person. What are you going to do? But on a funny note, <laughs> I went up to this young kid in Walmart, right? And uh, I said, excuse me, bud. Uh, what aisle are the croutons on? And he just looked at me like I had a third eye. I said, you know, croutons? And he just kind of tilted his head a little bit. I was like, square little bread that is hard, kind of garlicky, cheesy taste, and they put on salad. You... Okay, never mind, bud. Tell you what, Google it when you get home, what a crouton is. And I was like... <laughs> What? I don't know. I don't know. I thought everybody knew what croutons were. Right? Or did you just know them as little bread things? I guess he didn't even know what I was talking about when I said little square breads. <laughs> Anyways, I thought that was funny. I thought that was weird. 
But hey, that's when there was some food. And that was just a couple days ago. There wasn't no toilet paper, of course. But, uh, I mean, luckily we still have some. But, um, you know what? And as the, the, the baby wipes, some of these moms these days are crying. No, I don't have baby wipes. How do you think, how do you think your mama back in the day took care of you? They didn't have baby wipes back in the sixties, early sixties, right? And they washed your hands. Do what your mama told you when you was a filthy little pig. Wash your hands. So yeah, today I went to uh, two of them, two WalMarts in a, in a in a food city. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. And uh, what can you do? So I mean, got a few little things and what I could, but uh, what do you do? You don't want to touch the protease, right? Because you don't know who else has been touching it. That's another thing, too. I didn't understand. I mean, like, the whole airport thing when the president freaked everybody out. And said, you know, and then we need space. And then you got, like, a Petri dish at the airports. If one person or two people are already infected, boom. They're going all over the place. I don't know. It's crazy, but then you're going to get, and you know what? If you need to pray or, you know, do a prayer chain, fine. If that makes you feel better, that's fine. Do that. I had, I had somebody tell me the other day, it's God or country. I was like, well, I, I believe there's a creator. I don't believe in the Bible. What? I said, I believe there's a creator. I said, I don't believe in the Bible. He's like, oh my God, I can't believe how lefty you mean you don't love your country. I was like, whoa, I never said I didn't love my country. I love my country. I believe in the second amendment. Buy a gun if you want a gun. Just don't be an idiot with it, right? Be a decent person. Protect yourself from idiots. He's like, man, I can't believe. Why? I don't understand. I don't get it. Anyways, but anyways, besides the point, it doesn't matter. You know what? It doesn't matter whose side you're on, what side you're on, who did what. President Ding Dong did what, said what, doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. Everything's wrong. Whatever he said, the facts are wrong. But were they right? Who knows? Was this, does this news company know telling the truth? Or this news company telling the truth? I have no, I have no idea. You know what? I'm going to pray to uh, Santa Claus. Right? He checks his list twice. He wants to find out who's naughty and nice. There was a book about a Saint Nick, right? Who's to say? I don't know. You know what's funny, though? If I'm right, I could be wrong. I read it on the internet. Could be fake news. I have no idea. But, you know, don't hate on me, but the Quran has not been changed in 2,000 years. I, mean, I could be wrong. As far as I know, the Quran has not been changed in 2,000 years. Our Bible, I don't even know how many times it's been changed and rewritten. You know, I, I go figure. I don't know. But hey, <laughs> speaking of religion, and I'm not, you know, I'm not saying, believe me, I grew up Catholic, altar boy. That's a whole nother story. <laughs> You know, a Hispanic, a Catholic altar boy. I grew up, you know, in the church and stuff like that. So, but I watched the movie by Ricky Gervais called um, 2009, The Invention of Lying. And at first I was like, what the hell's going on in this movie? This, they're mean to each other. Why are they? And then all of a sudden I realized what the whole movie was about. And I was like, wow, that's how religion started. Now, I'm not saying, I'm just saying, think about it. You know what I mean? And I'm allowed to think about it, right? Because that's, 
why I'm an American. Because I'm allowed to think how I want to think. I'm allowed to speak how I want to speak. All that kind of stuff. And I choose to be a decent person to everybody, anybody. Anyways, I suggest you check it out because it's funny. You know what I mean? I laugh my ass off. But, um, yeah. So, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen tomorrow? You know? Everybody's going to be quarantined. You know? How long? What do I do? Who's going to pay my bills? I'm going to pay my bills. I can't even become a prostitute to pay my bills. <laughs> I could dress up in my Elvis suit, man, and, and say, anybody got a Elvis fantasy? I'll do you while I'm singing Elvis. Oh, love me. Tender. That's a hundred dollars. Love me too. And I roll with toilet paper. <laughs> Terrible. I didn't mean that. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. <laughs> Two ply, of course, and the big rolls from like Costco. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, yeah. The toilet paper thing. It's, it's, uh, it's crazy. But you can survive. I have learned that you can survive this whole toilet paper crisis if you have, if you're running low. Keith Malley from Keith and the Girl, of course. I've heard his life story, which is, I should say, getting uh, more complicated as we learn more about Father Malley's strange past. Anyways, he grew up a survivor. And he knew, because his father, the wise priest... Psychic, fortune teller, lawyer, magician, and a whole bunch of other shit we'll find out. Told him to separate the two-ply properly to save money. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go to keithandthegirl.com uh, slash dad emails. I think that's what it is. If I got it wrong, Keith, I'm sorry, but... Just go to keithandthegirl.com and, oh my goodness. You want a story straight out of telenovela? There you go. There you go. <laughs> Insane. But, uh, yeah, because uh, I think uh, Chemda from Keith and the Girl quarantined herself to her house in New York because she had her tumor removed and she had an operation. She has a compromised immune system. So she quarantined herself just to be safe, which is smart. And she's still, they're still able to do the show from, you know, there. But, you know, what are you going to do? My son called and said, Colorado Springs, completely, everything shut down. Everything shut down. I said, are you still going to be working? He goes, I don't know. And he works at a place that builds a medical instrument. So hopefully he will because... They're probably going to need a bunch of them. <laughs> I don't know, my friends. What can you say? You know, you just, you can't freak out. It is what it is. And you know what? Do your part. Just be clean. You know, keep a little bottle of hand sanitizer in your pocket. You know, and just learn to use it all the time. Every time you open something, touch something, use it. You know, that's all. And wash yourself for the love of God. Who doesn't take a shower every day? A couple times. And quit hoarding the toilet paper. You're in a bathroom. Usually there's a shower there, so don't freak out. You'll be able to clean your ass. <laughs> there's a freaking shower. But you know what? Uh, unfortunately, Sometimes I tend to procrastinate, and uh, a while back, last year, I believe, I thought about this whole bidet. I thought, you know what? I might try to get one of those bidets, see if that works. You know, that would save on the money spending on toilet paper. And then, of course, life goes on, blah, blah, blah. Didn't get one. <laughs> Definitely wish I got one now, right? <laughs> 
What can you do, people? You know what? Laugh, if anything. If you can't laugh sometimes about some of this stuff, you know, curl up in the corner and be scared and don't talk to anybody. And my wife, of course, works as a phlebotomist doing blood drives. And uh, tomorrow, one of the drives at one of the hospitals, one of the major hospitals in Phoenix. And it's like, why would you? So she's worried, you know, she could get something and not know it. Bring it home. Kick it. You know, a couple days later, I have some symptoms. I don't know. It's a roller coaster. It might be my same shit. Who knows? But yeah, she's worried. So yeah, it's, it's getting crazy. It is getting crazy. Oh, uh, where was I at to pause for a minute? Damn it. Now I forgot even what the hell I was talking about. You know what I mean? I don't know. Anyways, I think we'll end up surviving this whole thing. And, you know, it is what it is. What can you do? You know, I think the the creator has all these planets, right? And he makes them poof, poof, poof. And then he comes back later and checks on them, right? <laughs> And he looked at ours and said, what the hell? And they looked at one of the other planets and said, you guys taught him how to do that shit? You gave him that? God dang it. Now look at him. Jeez. Is that a, is that a chimpanzee playing with an iPad? He just unlocked the iPad. Did you? That chimpanzee just, un- I leave to go build some other universe, and I come back in this one. Okay, you know what? Here you go. <laughs> Blew a little snot on us. He said, you guys, I'm getting rid of a bunch of you. All right? So there. <laughs> he goes, you'll survive. You guys stop helping them. They're being idiots with all this technology you're giving them. Now look at them. They're mentally challenged. They're mentally challenged now. All right, look at them. Look at them. Look at them all. All right. (laughs) I don't know. I don't know. It's not like we have anything else to worry about, like cancer, right? (laughs) Which I'm doing pretty good so far. You know, my numbers are doing good. i uh, supposed to go get a CAT scan, the whole body, see how everything's doing, blood work, blah, blah, blah. And uh, hopefully get my port taken out. But that would be surgery. Hospitals are probably going to be packed. And that's not, they could say, you could probably live with that for a while. Never mind. So, what are you going to do? Two tears in a bucket and say, what? Motherfucker. Excuse my language. But hey, it's the times we live in. Shit is hitting the fan. Get the fuck out of the way. (laughs) And wash your hands. (laughs) Oh, my Lord. Anyways, you know what? All you can do is just try to be a decent person. You know what? Don't be mean to old people. You know, help them out. You know, what if that's your abuela or your, your, your mom or, you know, your grandpa? Yeah, just be a decent person. That's all I'm saying. All you have to do is say, you know, thank you. Excuse me. Oh, that. Oh, say that to anybody at the Walmart the other day. And pff, I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it, just rude people. Anyways, hashtag be a decent person. Go to my <laughs> Instagram uh, be a decent person. Has or yeah, be a decent person. Twenty twenty, and um, on uh, Twitter, uh, hashtag be a decent person. Uh, Facebook, hashtag be a decent person. You can check that all out. And of course, laughing with cancer on Facebook, and uh, you know all my other stuff. You know, Twitter, laugh with cancer. Email me if you want to throw some hate mail at me. Why not? Everybody's being hateful these days. Just throw me some hate mail just so I can laugh or something. You know, just uh, or you know what? 
email me uh, that you want my uh, address so you can mail me some toilet paper and some hand sanitizer. That'd be nice. Why not? You know what I mean? <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, you know what? All you need is love. <laughs> and some toilet paper. All you need is love and toilet paper. All you need is toilet paper. <laughs> Just be nice, God. This toilet paper thing is driving me crazy. Anyways, you know what? I'm glad I was already dieting and stopped eating beef since January. I cut out meat. I barely eat chicken and fish and stuff on occasion. So, good thing for that, I guess, right? <laughs> but now, if I really need food, I got to eat crap? Ah, jeez. <laughs> Anyways, you guys be safe, all right? Please don't freak out. You know what? Help your neighbor or use your hand sanitizer. Just be clean. Wash yourself. You know what? Back in our day, we used to drink straight out of the garden hose. <laughs> we were rebels. And you know what? We also sat in the back of pickups as they drove. That's how crazy we were yeah uh -huh. we didn't get our information from a phone or a magic box in our hand no we pass notes in class <laughs> that's how we got our news <laughs> oh i love the 80s anyways you guys have a great one be safe be cautious wash yourself and be kind, all right? Hashtag, be a decent person, all right? Everybody, peace, love, and stay laughing. Laughing with Cancer, podcast .com. <laughs>